Hello there. This is John from Triangle Motors, and uh, we felt like this would be a good time to uh, show you how to change a spare tire. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your car angled in a direction that protects you from oncoming traffic. The next thing that you want to do is you're going to need to find out where your spare tire is, where your tools are, where your jack is, and a wheel lock key if you have one, and we'll get to that in a minute. So on this Honda Element, the spare tire, the tools, and the jack are all located under this rear deck back here. This is removable, and I would recommend removing it for easy access. Spare tire, we have our tools. And in it, you want to make sure that you have a complete tool set. Uh, so we have our lug wrench, our uh, lug bar, and wheel lock. We also have our jack located under here, uh, and we'll need that as well. So now we got our tools, we got our tire, we got our jack. Now it's time to find the jack point underneath the car so that you can attach the jack properly. Now what I like to do is bring the jack all the way up to where it meets the car, and loosen the lug nuts on the wheel before you jack it up. The reason for this, when the wheel is off the ground, when you try and torque on the lug nut, it can spin the wheel and make your life a lot more difficult. Now that we have our jack underneath the car, where the jack meets the car, and as we've discussed before, this vehicle has wheel locks. This is your wheel lock. This is your wheel lock key. The lug nut fits snugly inside of this, and then the other end fits into your lug wrench. You have to put it over top of the lug nut and kind of feel, feel it around until it clicks. And once it clicks into place, we can now loosen it. So sometimes this can be pretty tight, so you really got to pull on it. If it's too super tight, you can switch this over here and step on top of it to uh, try and break it free. This funny little hook here fits right through this hole in the jack uh, so that you can attach the end of your lug wrench to it and make jacking up the car a whole lot easier. As you can see, this fits right in here nicely. Almost if it was made to do that. And now that we have the car jacked up, we can finish taking the lug nuts off. This should be much easier since we've already loosened them. Now this wheel came off pretty easily. Some wheels, uh, when they've been on there a long time, haven't been removed, they can be kind of tight. And you may have to bang on them from the backside just a little bit to kind of break them free. So we can take our wheel off now, set it aside. Also out of the way of traffic, keep everybody safe. And we can get our spare tire and mount it on. So now that we have this on here, Put our lug nuts back on and tighten her up. Now, I always start with the wheel lock first, just so I don't have to keep getting it out. So, same as we did before, put it on here until it clicks, and then tighten it down. Right. So that's nice and tight. You can tighten all of the all of the lug nuts. I like to do a star pattern just so that it uh, really seals seats properly. But uh, everybody has their own way. And now that these are all tight, we can lower down the car and give it one more turn just to make sure everything is tight. We're going to hook this back through here again. Like I said, we'll give it one more turn for good measure. Find our wheel lock, start there. That's nice and tight. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. 
Make sure you get all your tools and jack and everything back in the car. Don't want to leave anything on the side of the road. And on this vehicle, the flat tire won't fit down in the wheel well because the tire on the vehicle is bigger than the spare tire. So we're just going to set it on top. about 50 miles an hour so you don't want to go too fast with them after they are temporary. So uh, make sure you get to your local shop to either get your tire plugged or replaced to get you back on the road quickly. Don't forget to buckle up.